We lost Annie. Oh, there she is. Maybe I could scare her. Ah! <laughs> I saw you coming up. I'm going to scare her over there. So, in this video, I wanted to sit down, something I haven't done in a while, and answer some questions. I took to Instagram and Snapchat for submissions on a Q&A video, and you delivered the goods. A lot of these questions kind of blended in with each other, so you might not see your exact question, but I'll definitely get across to what you asked. For the most part, yes. Uh, I knew that it would be an entirely different vibe than America, especially when you come from Chicago. It definitely met my expectations. That's due to the fact that I'm studying in Canterbury, which is a very, very nice village that is all things British, complete with castles, cathedrals, the whole nine yards. Very different style of architecture than the skyscrapers and big buildings that I'm used to. But when you're in the UK, it's just another brick in the wall. Quite literally, like if you look outside, there's so many bricks. Every single building here is made out of brick. So what I've enjoyed the most is making all these great friends. I live with three amazing flatmates. We're all from different parts of the world. I've also made friends in the nearby flats. And the other thing I've really enjoyed is traveling around. Uh, this past weekend, we went to Margate and I've also been to London twice. And we, we were supposed to go to Italy two weekends ago, but I just sent another message. I was like, Italy's canceled, don't text. <laughs> <laughs> I've also used this opportunity to get back onto YouTube with frequent uploads, something I've been wanting to do again for the longest time, but the truth is I just didn't know what to film. But now obviously I'm traveling around and there's so much out there for you and I to explore together, and that also kind of bleeds into the next question with YouTube. How long does it take you to edit videos? So it all depends on the video, and now that I've made an effort to create more advanced cinematic content, the editing quality and the effort I put into each video has gone way up. This clip from the last video, which you've seen already, took an entire hour to edit. This 15 second intro took that long. And most people really don't understand the tediousness that comes with it. I'd probably say three to five hours for a video like this. Uh, I actually just finished taking an online film course with Casey Neistat, where he brought you through his entire video making process and I learned so, so much. Casey has always been one of my biggest film inspirations and being taught by him was a huge honor and opportunity. What is your current goal when it comes to the creator you'd like to become? I love this question. So if you've been on my channel for a while, you'll know that my content and my vlog style has changed quite a bit. I used to be more in the moment, real life, but now I shoot more in the cinematic style. I do miss my old style of vlogs. A part of me wishes that I was still able to make that kind of content in the sense that my videos are more advanced and because I learned more since the last time I was on YouTube. But of course, the only person who's stopping me from making my old type of content is myself. But at the same time, I feel like I want to stick to one type of genre just for organization style. But as for the creator I would like to become, I feel like I'm already on my way to becoming that. I love making videos and I hope to continue being a content creator forever. So I definitely had a lot of those when I came here. So as you can see right here, we have a fridge and a freezer. I thought that these were both fridges and I ended up putting my tub of butter in here and the entire thing froze over. So that was pretty hilarious. Another thing that I learned is that they don't have any dryers here in the UK. You have to hang all of your wet clothes on a clothing line outside and that's kind of hard to do when it's raining out like it is right now. I also learned that grocery stores don't give you the free plastic shopping bags, you know, the ones that end up under your kitchen sink. No, over here in the UK, you have to buy these separate reusable bags and you bring it to the store with you every single time. I actually think that I like that better because it saves a ton on plastic waste. 
Another thing is the road. So over here we have roundabouts all over the place, which are super rare in the US in my morning commute to the campus. I have to cross at least five roundabouts and nobody seems to use their blinker here. So I never know when it's safe to cross and when it's not. Uh, it also took a while for me to start walking on the left side of the road. Uh, there are times where I see someone coming towards me and I have to change sides because I forgot. Oh yeah, everyone walks and drives on the left. My hardest adjustment it was definitely saying goodbye to all of my friends and family. Having been around all these people for my entire life or living with them for the past three, four years of college, this was the first time in my life where I lived not in Naperville or Chicago. You also have a goodbye video where we got all emotional at the airport, as you do. And it was sad because I knew that I wasn't going to be seeing these people for the next three or four months. Obviously though, we live in an age where we have technology to stay in touch and CJ and I just had a Zoom call last night for Valentine's Day and I just so happened to have a video clip from it. Oh, that's so cute. I love so this it. Is, this is this. And so I looked up how long it would take to get there and it said it would arrive from like March 13th to March 20th, which is great because that's when I'm visiting you. What? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> you're, you're visiting me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Are you serious right now? <laughs> yeah. Babe, what? I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. What, when, when did you like sort all of this out? Probably like a few months ago. Oh, really? Yeah. And that's why I haven't <laughs> been like crying as much because I know I'm going to see you. Um, yeah. CJ, thank you so much for the big Valentine's Day surprise. This is probably one of the best gifts anyone has ever given me. I really can't wait to see you. I miss you so much. And you guys are also going to be seeing her in the video. So get excited for that. Uh, we have about just a little bit less than a month left from when she will be arriving. But that does it for this video. I am going to be filming more this weekend and I think I might be going to Liverpool, not entirely sure. But regardless, you will see some content from Dover as well as Deal. So yeah, thanks for watching. Yep, just kidding. Uh, Liverpool and Dover and Deal is not happening. If you're in the UK right now, you know what's going on. Storm Eunice has just pulled in. It's so windy outside. All right, three, two, one. Thank you for choosing United. Ooh, hoo, hoo. she's coming to the UK. Oh my gosh. Give it.